I started the oil running last night about 10 o'clock. Stopped it in an hour or so. I was afraid to leave it running. When I was in the bed, I assumed I would stay awake all night, worried about it, so turned it off and started back. Ran a little this morning and now starting it again this afternoon on this area. I hope you can see a um, pretty big area that I've laid out the waypoints using the waypoint program I wrote that'll generate uh, what I'd call round and round pattern, you know, uh, take a polygon shape and generate successive smaller polygons inside and I put that on github and I'll put a link below I'd love someone to help to play with a little bit and let me know what they think does it work right for them or not it does not work perfectly but it does for most shapes this is a little bit of a, a weird shape it's got a you'll still see the the moors about to take a little right turn I jogged around those uh, peach trees that's why I did that I did I had the yard uh, has those peach trees on the edge and so I jogged around it with my outer polygon and then let it generate the internal ones and then it kind of goes down it didn't start out going to an exact point way down at the far end but it went to a uh, um, you know kind of narrow area which has become a point now that it's come together as it's made rounds Pivot turns are working pretty well. Um, still overshooting some. I haven't quite figured that out. Again, the slow actuators are probably maybe to blame. I don't know if I, just, I haven't been able to tune that out. But generally speaking, I'm really impressed that it didn't miss. If you look at this, uh, if you watched an earlier video, I cut this same yard and uh, did it. It was extremely tall grass at the time, so uh, I had, but it took two passes because it missed some um, with an overlap now I have it overlapping halfway of the deck I believe if I'm not mistaken that's what I did with the when I generated the waypoints it's a 60 inch deck and I think I've got it overlapping 30 inches so not the speediest grass cutting in the world but um, anyway it looks really nice I, there's, I've done no trim work or anything to this area right here it's actually you know not missed a bit even on the turn so that's what's been nice to see that it's uh it has uh the pivot turns might not be perfect but they're somewhat repeatable from you know one um pass to the next so it it's still cutting everything got a rough spot down there that's one reason i've got the more going so slow uh, i've got some rough places this yard is just weeds really i'm planting i hope soon to uh turn it into real grass but so it's just kind of a mess and that area down there is a rough really rough area so just letting it chug along at a relatively low speed plus it works really really well out in the fields where it's super tall grass this is a corner where you can see how the pivot turns are overshooting some what i mean by that is that the more was coming along that edge and then it should have turned pivot turn straight toward where I'm standing now but instead it uh, well it, it it turned pretty much at the right time but it turned too far to the left too far that way before correcting back straight so it has this little hairpin shape there but it did that every time you can kind of see the traces of the turns in the grass so really no problem you can see telltale signs of uh, my tuning not being perfect if you look at the track the tra you know trails that are left where the edge of the deck was uh, you see it wiggling a little bit but you can also see how much it's overlapping by the distance there which may be more i may i don't remember when i generated the waypoints what parameter what i chose for the separation uh between the uh the polygons it may be uh, that i had it on 48 inches because that looks wider to me than 30. i don't know there's some that don't so it i'm not sure what i what i chose for overlap but i need to look and see because it worked well need to repeat it next time
There he is, proud of his job. We actually left and went to vote and then went to eat out and left it cutting. And I was able to take remote control with a VPN connection back to the house and remote desktop. I was able to look at Mission Planner on my laptop from my phone in the restaurant and uh, see that he was still working okay and saw him finish everything. That's the mower back there working on its second pass in the in that field. You can see how clean it looks on the second pass over there. Getting ready to head out and finish that field. have waypoints programmed in to take it from the yard here out to the field and finish that field and then bring it back to the yard and just loiter in the yard until I notice it's finished and cut it off. The reason I don't have it just stay in hold is right now um, my uh, servos aren't quite centered correctly I suppose that in hold it'll still creep forward a little bit so I decided last night to try loiter mode. I played with it a little bit. I'm not sure it's working the way it ought to, but it, or I may not have something set right, but it did at least kind of stay in the yard going in circles. It didn't stay right around the waypoint, but it was, you know, didn't drift off. So that's my new method of ending a mission so that I, it won't just wander off. might have looked as if it was headed straight into the pond but I had it go that direction first before turning back to avoid an area that's very rough right there so I kind of did a little dog leg This is about two and a half hours later. It's getting close to finishing out there. He's finished and heading back to the house for the next assignment. It's now stopped. It's in loiter mode, so it, if it creeps around, it'll try to stay relatively close to that spot. Looks like it's doing a great hold right there, though. It cut that five acres you see right there, about five acres, and behind it, another three or four acres over the hill a little bit it had done prior to that. It gets kind of wet over to the right. That's why I didn't have it go all the way, but uh, it's been dry the last week or so, rain-wise, so I'm gonna probably let it try to work on that. I've had to pull it out <laughs> probably three or four times altogether from where it got stuck in places, though. So it's not that big a deal. So it's uh, everything it does, I don't have to do on the tractor, so I'm pushing it. creeping very slowly in a circle. It's better than having it just go in hold mode where it uh, creeps in whatever direction. At least here it's trying to navigate back toward the waypoint. So it 
should never get way out of hand. This is late in the evening, 8.50, and the mower has finished the job, the second job I gave it over toward the woods there, and it, it did that twice, and it's headed back home here now, if you can see it, there it is, coming around that clump there. It's pretty good fuel efficiency. I, I filled up the tanks this morning about 8 o'clock and it has run 100% of the time. So, so 13 hours on 11 gallons of gas. Doing pretty good bit of work out there. <laughs> 